Hi there, welcome to a video showing a Storm of War event mission that we ran on the 16th of September. Uh, this mission was a bit of a test for a number of aspects that we're trying to do with uh, Storm of War in DCS. This mission, or this video rather, is mostly me running uh, ground controlled interception GCI and operating under the call sign Top Hat. The video is uh, quite long, which is why I've split it into two pieces. The first piece up until we had some connection problems and then the second video will be uploaded later. Just by way of uh, introduction to the mission itself, it's run on the Caucasus map and we're using the Caucasus map as a stand-in for Italy in 1944 and up on the hillside there under a bit of a barrage you can see we've uh, placed well, a, sh a sort of a stand-in for the Monte Cassino Monastery. So there's the monastery at Monte Cassino up on the hillside there, and it's currently under bombardment. And that forms the nexus of the mission. There it is on this hillside here, with the Allied units attempting to cross the river and attack. We also have a number of uh, AI units operating. For example, there are formations of B-17s. And we can have a little look at those now. So here's a formation of B-17s which are inbound. These are AI controlled. And I'll be vectoring various fighter assets to escort these B-17s throughout the mission. Uh, also using combined arms in addition to the World War II assets pack. Unfortunately, there's a couple of things I guess you would say are missing from the assets pack at the moment. What it would be really lovely to have is a couple of additional units that are human player controllable and I will point out which units I think they should be in a moment. It would also be very good to have World War II period radar assets for the Allies and the Axis. So mid-1944 or early 1944 mobile radar units which were being operated by at least the Canadians in the advance up the western coast of Italy. This is one of the fortification units which is already included in the World War II assets pack for both the Allies and the Axis. And I would really like it if Eagle Dynamics could set these assets so they can be player can drive or player controllable. This would allow us to use these for the combined arms players. And these are a nice little unit that the player can set up here and get a bit of a commanding view of the battlefield. These would be really good. The other unit which it would be really nice to have, the Germans already have the SDKFZ2 as player can drive but the Allies do not yet have a similar unit in combined arms. What I think that Eagle Dynamics should give us is the Jeep. So if that could be made human drivable as well for combined arms, that would be absolutely fantastic. We still have some problems with visibility in uh, DCS since some recent updates. So you may see at times aircraft merging on the map, but the pilots themselves perhaps don't have visibility of each other. Hopefully that will be something that Eagle Dynamics are going to fix and uh, return it to its previously sort of semi-functioning capability. Um, participation, we had about 20 pilots on at the start of this mission. We have a need for more German squadrons. So if you are a member of a German DCS squadron, flying the German aircraft that is, please get in touch with us via the Storm of War website. We'd love to have another one or two squadrons flying on the German side in our Storm of War events. Okay, so here's the video from the ground controller, Top Hat's perspective of the first half of this event. Okay, so zooming out, got the map here, and uh, we're looking at three active airfields for the Allied side. And up here we have basically Monte Cassino right there at the bullseye. That is the casino itself. The Germans are located up in this area, up the coast and we should have B-17 raids arriving to attack the enemy emplacements and units around the casino. Four aircraft from 362nd Squadron, they are 
on their threshold, uh, sorry, on their startup areas, and 54 squadron are over here. Got a three ship from them tonight, and I expect they'll be taxiing out shortly. Three clipped wings, Biddy's over there. I do have another forward position up here, which we can just have a look at. So here it is. And up there is the casino on the hillside. Let's just try and get a better view of it. There's the casino. There's already a couple of units have been um, shot up a bit up there. And there should be allied units not too far away from me. There's a few over there. And they're attempting to basically attack that installation. We'll head over and plonk ourselves on the ground at one of these airfields. Surely. It looks like 54 Squadron is starting to taxi now. So we've got a couple of these Russian early warning stations. Um, these are not period specific. Unfortunately, Eagle Dynamics have not provided us yet with a World War II radar unit. So we are using these. Uh, Cold War Russian units. I've placed them hopefully far back enough from the front for both sides. The uh, the Germans have them as well. Hopefully they're placed far back enough from the front to give us a realistic coverage. But um, we're sort of making do with uh, with what Eagle Dynamics have given us. Not the best solution, but um, as I said, we're making do. Okay, so 54 are still lining up on the threshold here. And uh, they're waiting for their third member to cat taxi over. 362 are still, looks like on the ground. We've had a disconnect here, so I'm hoping that's nothing too serious. And we have our first 109s showing up on a radar. So. Just got to be careful here that we don't run into trouble with them. They're coming down the coast at uh, low altitude and um, looks like they're heading for our concentration of units in this area here. I cannot victor anyone to them at this point because no one is airborne. So now we've got three aircraft from Broadsword in at uh, Senaki Kolki. The last member of uh, Rabbit Squadron is taxiing over. And 362nd are still perhaps having connection issues. We shall see. Yeah, it was a disconnect from uh, from Campbell there, so hopefully nothing too serious. So these guys are actually at about 2,000, well, about 5,000 feet, actually. They're climbing pretty rapidly. And I've got my first raid inbound now the first raid of b-17s here they are there are 12 of them and they're making their way up the coast so i need to start getting the guys up and airborne pretty quickly here okay 360 seconds of trailing member is now joined i think we probably ready with uh five four rabbit squadron here so let's just check in with them get the binoculars out have a quick look Three Spitfires on the threshold. Let's have a chat. Rabbit from Top Hat. Top Hat Rabbit, we are standing by for takeoff. Thanks, uh, Rabbit. You're clear for takeoff. Uh, start climbing in a right hand once airborne. Circle the base in a climb. Thank you. Roger. Right, we'll watch these guys get airborne, I think. Just waiting for the other squadrons. So, Rabbit Leader is airborne. It's number two. Appears to be airborne. And here's aircraft number three. Also airborne. So, Rabbit Squadron are up. That's good. 
Okay, looks like we've got movement at 362. Yep, we do. Dollar Squadron are on the way out. And Broadsword are also on the way out. This is good news. So Broadsword should be over this way. There they are. And they're just holding short as requested from the threshold. There you go. One, two, three Spitfires holding short. They'll be calling in in just a moment, I expect. Ah, look at this. Oh, looks like they may actually be taxing out. Top hat, this is Broadsword. Broadsword from Top Hat, go ahead. Three spits holding short at Sanaki. Um, where do you want it, Phil? Okay, uh, Broadsword Top Hat, clear to line up and take off. Begin a right hand climb once airborne. Thank you. Roger that. Now I'm going to get Rabbit out of here. Rabbit from Top Hat. Top Hat, Rabbit, good. Rabbit. We just rejoined. Yeah, copy. I see that. Can you please vector 170 degrees? Vector for Kobu Lady, climb hard. Kobu Lady, climbing hard, please. 170. Roger. Rabbit 170, climb here. Okay, good. I'm going to get them, hopefully, to meet up with the B-17. So I'm going to get them to climb out towards uh, the south. We've got four enemy aircraft slowly making their way down here, so we need to be careful. Broadsword should be up shortly. Let's just check in on Dollar over here. Dollar attacking to the threshold. All four of them in P-51s. Excellent news. I'm going to get them to Vector 045 and then swing around. Okay, let's see if we can catch Broadsword taking off. There they are. Sounds like they're rolling. Top hat, dollar flight holding short, runway 9 at Cat 2C, ready to roll. Dollar from top hat, you're clear to take off, uh, turn 045 once airborne. Clear for departure, 045 on the heading, dollar flight. Okay, dollar are now about to get airborne as well. There goes broadsword, getting airborne. And we'll go check in with dollar as they power off. I do not have an observation unit here, so unfortunately we can't watch them. But there they are, all four. This is dangerous. Got uh, two aircraft coming down the coast here. So I need to get my Spitfire boys away as quickly as possible. These guys are going to cause some trouble. Okay, they're in the right hand turn, so I'm going to get Broadsword to turn 180. Broadsword from Top Hat Control. Send. Oh. Broadsword, turn 180 degrees, climb. Copy that, 180, we climb. Rabbit from Top Hat Control. Top Hat Rabbit, but... Uh, Rabbit from Top Hat, make a right turn through 90 degrees onto 170. You should see Sinaki, uh, you should see Kobe Lady at your three o'clock long now down by the coast. Right Say so you're it. two o'clock now. Cup it. So there are four P 51s lined up here at Kutaisi, about to roll. This is Dollar Squadron. The Americans. Actually, it's a mix of nationalities, led by an American. And here they go. First element is away. Second element rolling now. There we go, Dollar Squadron uh, rolling. Okay, I've got all my assets in the air, and the B-17s are now inbound, and the players should know because the message has just popped up on the screen. It looks like these guys might be about to do some ground attack here. Yeah, we're about to get some ground attack on our targets at the front, I think. 
here are the B-17s. Uh, I'm going to jump in this unit here on the front line because somewhere up there is where these German aircraft are. Can't see them from the ground. And it looks like we've got a new squadron have joined Luton, so that's good news. Yeah, they're running in towards the target here. Uh, Top Hat Rabbit, can I have a vector again? Rabbit from Top Hat, sorry, say that again. Top Hat, Dollar Flight. Can you give me a vector on the head? Sorry. Arm for a cap mission, what do you got? Okay, Dollar, I need you to turn uh, zero degrees to the north and climb as hard as you can, please. Zero degrees, climbing hard. Rabbit from Top Hat, you are over Kobuleti now. It's just under your nose. Maintain your climb on your current heading. You need to climb to Angels 2-0. Roger that. Rabbit top. Yep, here come these guys, 6,000 feet patrolling over the front. So they are in a perfect position, sitting there waiting for the bombers to arrive. This is going to be interesting. My guys are climbing up to meet this raid, and the Germans are stacking the combat area with four enemy aircraft. I'm just going to let Dollar know what's going on at the target area. Dollar from Top Hat. Top Hat, go for Dollar. Dollar radar reports four enemy aircraft over Monte Cassino at about 18,000 feet. Maintain your northern heading climb. I want you to intercept once you are at Angels 2-0. Roger, we'll maintain this heading up to 2-0 on the altitude, and uh, we'll look for the intercept once we've reached. Dollar top here, thank you. Okay, these guys are on their way in. These guys are climbing. These guys are climbing hard. Broadsword are climbing hard. Okay. Oh, they're in a nice formation too. I'm going to get Broadsword to turn right now onto about 220. Broadsword from top head control. Send top up. Broadsword top head, please turn right onto 220. It's about a 20, 30 degree right turn for you, and uh, climb to Angels 2-1. Roger that, 220, Angels 2-1. Excellent. Okay, these guys here are still on their way up. Six. You need these, these guys need to climb. Rabbit needs to increase their time climb rate. Rabbit from Top Hat. Top Hat Rabbit, go ahead. Right, you may soon get visual on some B-17s coming up the coast. They're at Angels 2-1, and they're only... They're only 40 kilometers from your position. You need to climb hard. Uh, Roger that. Okay, broadsword are nearly at 4,000 meters, so 15,000 feet. How are my Mustangs going? Very gentle climb still. Oh, I've lost sight of those other two aircraft. And I've got these guys now at 7,000 meters. <laughs> these guys are up at 23,000 feet. They are well above the bombers. Three thousand, four thousand, and top hat dollar fly. Just be advised, we're getting some pretty bad performance on the server. Uh, dollar top hat. Thanks for that. Let me know if it gets unplayable. <laughs> 